Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to run the old game Viper Racing by Sierra Online. Uh, this is a game that was very well received when it came out. Uh, with the passing of time, though, it has been, uh, you know, not playable on the modern systems. Uh, most people, if they were able to get this running with the patches they made, the game would run, but you would still have issues with uh, frame rates and also with the uh, sound popping and static sound coming out when it was being played. So I did find this method here that worked for me. So if you guys want to go ahead and give this a shot, go ahead and open up uh, to this page here. I'll leave the link in the description. So let's go ahead. We're going to navigate to this first one right here. We're going to download this file here. So click on that, download that file. Then you are going to download this file right here. And there's also an option to download the, uh, download the resolution changer. That one will let you change the resolution on the fly. It will, however, not let you do uh, any resolution past 1366. Uh, at least it did not work for me. Once you go past that resolution, you'll get like uh, like extra characters after it shows you the resolution. If you see that, the game will not launch. Uh, so if you want to go higher than that resolution, go ahead and bypass this, and we're going to use DG Voodoo. So once again, we're going to go ahead and download this file here, that one. This one is optional. So let's go ahead. Once you're done with that, go ahead and close that page, and we can head over here to uh, DG Voodoo site. We're going to download the latest version, which is 2.86.2. .2. So we're going to go ahead and click on that, uh, put that on your computer, and we're all set with that. And obviously, you need to have the game installed in order to get this to work. So make sure you have the disk or an image of it and get the game installed. So once we're done with that, just navigate to the folders that you have already with the files inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the two folders here that I have that I need. So as you can see, the folder on the right side has the game already installed. And on the left here are the files that we downloaded. I have the folders extracted already. And like I said, this is the optional uh, resolution changer. Uh, you can go ahead and extract that also. And like I said, uh, I recommend actually not using that and just using DJ Voodoo. So let's go in here and get this started. So go ahead and extract both of the uh, files here. So you're going to have the Viper Racing Execute and the 2016 VR Race Bin. So let's go ahead. First, what we're going to do is go inside this one, copy this race.bin file. We're going to paste that in the data folder. So make sure you just paste that right in there. And I don't need to because I've already done it. Mine's just set. But go ahead and paste that inside the data folder. Once you're done with that, just back up. And we're going to take this file right here. Copy the viperracing.exe. And that is going to go into the main folder. So it's going to overwrite here. It does not need to go in the data. It needs to go into this main one right here. So go ahead and extract that. And you're going to have that right there in the window. Now, once you're done with that, do not launch the game. So let's go ahead over to the folder that has the DG Voodoo 2 on there. You're going to copy all these files. Copy. We are going to paste that into this folder right here. And just go ahead and you know replace whatever files it tells you. It may not tell you to replace anything. This is just I had uh, installed on here before. So once you have those in there, navigate to the MS folder, x86. Copy all of those files. And we are going to paste those inside the folder once that is done right click on here set the compatibility mode to run this program as administrator go ahead and click ok once you're done with that just go ahead and launch the program and then you can go in here i recommend you go here and use the the highest one that's available to your computer so in my case it is 12. if you want scan lines navigate down here to where it says windowed but leave the full screen checked and you're going to click on the keep aspect ratio and then the crt and that'll give you scan lines once you're done with that we're going to navigate to the directx window i like setting this to max you don't have to and then you're going to pick the resolution that you want on here i went as high as a, a little bit higher than 4k with that so you can set this to whatever you know your uh, computer can handle for the video we'll do 1920 by 1080 you can go ahead and uh, you know put the anti-aliasing on there also filtering i also set that to 16. so once you're done with that uh go ahead and click apply you can go ahead and leave the watermark on there to make sure it shows up if you see the watermark on the bottom right hand side you know it is uh you know that it's working so go ahead and click force v-sync on here also 
and then afterwards you can just go back in here and delete this once you're sure it's working go ahead and click apply okay now when we go back here and launch this we should be good to go so let's go ahead and launch that and as you can see you do have the DG Voodoo logo here on the bottom right it is showing you the version of the uh, race bin I'll file that as the version for that one so once you've done that we're going to just go ahead and go ahead and do a quick race here make sure everything is working all right so as you can see the game is working fine so now one thing I'm going to recommend, if you are using a joystick on here, I recommend that when you go into the option settings right here, when you do your settings for the joystick, I recommend you leave this unchecked. At least it works better for me with this unchecked. And just go ahead and set your settings here for your joystick. You know, you got your left, your right, the throttle. So I was doing uh, right trigger for the throttle, left trigger for the brake. Then reverse you know you can choose whatever you want on your uh you know joystick there we go and once you have that set up you're good to go and then i'm gonna show you the reason i do that if you look as you know right now i'm turning left slowly and as you can see it matches the movement pretty smoothly there's not a quick, you know, like a quick jump. So that's going to be better for making your turns that should be able to keep the car, you know, more control with it set that way. And that is it for this one. So we're done with this one. So hopefully if you've had that game before in the past and weren't able to run it or you were able to run it and, you know, you had that popping sound that should fix it for you. So hopefully you guys can make use of that video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys on the next video. Have a great day.